What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of My Fight Within. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about my my journey as an entrepreneur and and the first business I started with uh, with one of my buddies. It was a, a digital marketing agency, and uh, oddly enough, I, I started it when I was expecting my third child, and we had just moved out of my parents' house, and and I wanted to start a new business. And and normally, if you were to sit back and and assess the situation with your spouse or with your partner, you you wouldn't deem it smart. You know, it, it wouldn't be very smart to do that. And and I did. Uh, the reason being was because. It was about four years ago, four and a half years ago, I had been working for someone else for the longest time and, and my fight career had kind of just suddenly came came to a halt because of my contract uh, dispute with uh, with Bellator and 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 just not being able to negotiate and fight out my last fight with them. And so uh, I was working for my buddy's print company and we did large format print. We had a lot of big time clients and had a lot of success, but um, I, I was always eager to start my own business and and I had always told them, I said, man, we, we have to start something because they, they need print, but they also need marketing. Like, let's say a, a business is just starting out. They're going to want a website. They're going to want design and graphic card or business cards and branding and things like that. And so uh, I, I felt like there was other companies in the industry doing it. So I felt like I wanted to offer additional services just just to be a better a better fit for companies that were looking for print, um, and we can kind of leverage that relationship, uh, and, and then slowly convert them into into marketing marketing clients. And, and to make a really long story short, we never ended up opening up the business uh, until it got shut down. There was there were some issues. And and uh, I don't want to say disputes. There's disagreements with one of the partners he brought into the print company and and we had to just shut the doors suddenly. And so about a week later, after bugging him for about two or three months, right when the print company shut down, he, he gives me a call and says, hey, man, let's go. Let's go talk about this business you want to start and, and and let's really sit down and kind of game plan to see if it's something that we can do. And, and so we did. We met and, and we met uh, outside of Bagels and Brew in Lake Forest here in Orange County. And we, we spoke about just the name, uh, branding, just identity, what we're going to offer. Do we if we know people in, in those industries and, and what were in the, that provide those services. And what was neat was that within about two or three weeks, we, we created a contact list of people that we knew that that offered the services that we wanted to provide and uh, just a list of potential clients. What what we failed to do was game plan and, and we didn't plan out or, or have goals. You know, we might have had them individually, but as partners and, and business partners at that, we didn't we didn't really see eye to eye as far as uh, planning and, and things we should do. You know, he I was very fortunate that he knew a lot of business and and the business side of things and and all the way down to you know paperwork and marketing and and accounting and and things that you need to have knowledge of if you want to be a business owner or successful one at that and and uh, i knew the people and so i had the connections i had the relationships and and that was how we were going to kind of go about it and 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 we were very lucky that within the first week or two we actually landed a client uh, for, for a website, we, we, we re revamped their website and, um, within three months he was gone, not because he wanted to, he got a, he got an opportunity to leave and, and go pursue something else, um, and, and become a part owner in, in another print company. And, and so, um, I was kind of left there three months into being an entrepreneur, a business owner without any knowledge of, of how to run the business uh, what to do, how to get clients, anything. And so I had to learn and, and I went online and, and I, you know, I paid attention to guys like Ty Lopez and Gary Vaynerchuk and, and obviously other successful people that, that have been in the industry for not in my industry, just the business in general, like Mark Cuban. And, you know, I started watching Shark Tank a ton and, and, and started kind of refocusing, uh, what I wanted to do because I, I knew that, I had a lot of really neat relationships because when I was competing, I never had a manager. And since I didn't have a manager, um, I built really cool relationships with business owners uh, of the companies that I was trying to get to sponsor me. 
And then I also was was very fortunate to negotiate all, all my own fights. And, and I wouldn't even really call it negotiating. You know, I always got offered what I thought was a fair deal. And and uh, I think I might have negotiated once where I said, hey, you know, I want a little bit more. Uh, but but other than that, I always really felt like I got a far, fair deal. So to really say negotiate is not really fair. But uh, in business, I, I knew that those relationships could could be an asset. And so I, I started pursuing that, you know, I started pursuing uh, friends and, and people that I knew, old sponsors and, and companies that, that I thought would need marketing services. And, and that's how I kind of built my my book of business. And and so I, I did it for four and a half years. And, and I, I don't want to sit here and talk to you guys about my success and and all the success I had. I mean, I, I think I've had maybe five junker cars in the in the last four years since I've had the business. You know, uh, um, th there was months where I'd make great money and then the following month I wouldn't. And, and I have three kids and rent and a wife and, and I have to go provide. And so it's not it, it's not what you guys think it is. It's not what you get, what everyone makes it out to be. You know, you have to be really dedicated to your craft and what you're doing and your business. And, and I didn't have any of that. I just kind of flew by the by the seat of my pants and said, you know what? I'm motivated. I want to be a businessman. I want to provide for my family. And and it just it, it didn't quite work out how I wanted to work out or how I wanted it to. Um, I thought I could just bring in money and let's say, say we bring in seven, eight grand this month. That'll hold us over. We'll be fine. We just have to repeat it again without ever really having a plan of action or or, uh, you know, steps as to how we did it or how I did it or how I was getting customers in. I always struggled in in providing service for our existing customer base and then trying to grow the business. And so um, I was really stubborn. I thought I can do it on my own and I'd seek advice from from mentors and, and other successful business people and and I just wouldn't follow it. You know, I would I would sleep late because I had no one to answer to. I would I would show up in the office at nine o'clock, ten o'clock um, I'm, I'm not saying there's there's a perfect formula for being a, a successful entrepreneur, but there, there's definitely work ethic. And I feel like uh, just because I had my own business, I, I was a little bit entitled and, and felt like I can, can kind of just do whatever I wanted. And those were mistakes that I wish I had someone, you know, there to kind of tell me and and, um, and, and just kind of slap me upside the head and say, Manny, you know, wake up. It, it, it's not all roses and rainbows and unicorns. There's there's work that needs to be done. You can't just expect to land a client the last week of the month to pay your rent. Um, and, and that's what that was really my mentality. And so uh, now I'm, I'm actually the marketing manager. Um, so I have a nine to five. You know, I'm a marketing manager at a, at a local plumbing company here. And and being there since since about March has really taught me to build those habits of, you know, sleeping early and, and waking up early and kind of scheduling my day and having set times to do things that I need to do or that things that need to get done that day. And if there's a meeting that, that comes about, then I know that I still have that, that responsibility or that, that, um, that thing that I have to kind of check off my, my list. And so that just gets moved around. And, and I didn't have that when I, when I was an entrepreneur. And so I'm not saying that my dreams are over, that, that my business is dead. Um, I've learned a lot from, from working here and, and working for somebody. And luckily he's a friend. And, and so I know that whenever it is time to leave, you know, God will open that door and, and I'll be able to kind of walk through it with the, these new uh, tools and these new assets that I have. And so, um, you know, it, the other thing I kind of want to touch on is, is that it gets really depressing, you know, because especially as an athlete and, and a stubborn athlete is that you, you think you're the best and, and you have to think that you're the best in the world to kind of be successful and to push yourself and you're better than this person. And, and, and there's, there's very little, uh, humbleness that, that comes along with that. You, you have this big ego and you fluff yourself up to get motivated and, and to kind of pursue the things you want to pursue. And so, um, I, you know, I, I want to kind of close with, with letting people know that, that you should have goals and you should write them down and, and you should go pursue them with a plan. You know, it's not just about going out. Everyone has a decent work ethic and maybe knows a couple of people and has really neat relationships. But if you don't put in the work or provide a good service, you're never going to get the results that you want and the results that you're pursuing. And so um, I, I would really 
really encourage people not to give up on your dream, but also don't don't just jump in it. You know, people always talk about like I have a plan A and there's no plan B. My plan B is my plan A, which is great if you're if you're, you know, completely sold out for it. But in my case, I had I had responsibilities and I had kids relying on me to feed them and to clothe them and to provide for them. And I can't put them through things just because I want to be selfish and, you know, pursue this entrepreneurial dream that everyone makes makes out to be this this, you know, this crazy lifestyle um, of, of buying the, the, the car that you want and living in the house that you want and in the area that you want. You know, I wanted more to life than that. Now, you know, kind of putting my getting my priorities straight and, and making sure that like my kids are kids come first. My wife comes first. Me being a provider and and providing a life for them. That was better than what I had comes first. And and, uh, you know, my athletic career is over. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll hop in there someday soon. But uh, for, for now, my athletic career is over and, and I want to focus on, on them and providing for them uh, to the best of my ability and, and to never compare. Like, don't compare where I'm at with where a friend's at or where another entrepreneur's at. You know, it, it, it's your life. It's your journey. And you have to kind of stick to your story, you know, it, it doesn't mean that someone else has to write it for you, but it does mean that that when there's crossroads or there's bumps in the road, you go and, and you figure it out and you figure out how to do it with community, with mentorship, with guidance. You don't think that you can just do it on your own. Uh, I'm a Christian, so for me, it's my faith that I relied on and and uh, to get that guidance that really awesome mentors and, and other business professionals that um that I can turn to and, and seek advice from. And so um, if, there, if there's anything you guys want to ask me, you know, just DM me, reach out. Um, I, I don't, uh, th there's other really neat stories that are, that are kind of within this one, but I, I wanted to touch on, on just how, how crazy uh, and of an emotional roller coaster it is to, to be an entrepreneur and just, kind of give you guys an update like hey the shop's closed right now but it doesn't mean because we provide digital marketing services it doesn't mean that it's shut down it just means that now i get a chance to kind of build my skill set learn a little bit more on providing the services that i was providing for other clients for one client and so now i i have this uh you know this this tremendous case study if you will that'll just say look th this is what works and we know how to do it and here's a case study uh, in this industry and we've done it for other people in other industries and and now it just gives us a clearer picture to the services that we have to offer and and what we're good at and then how to do it you know now we can grow because we can teach employees or, or teach other people how to do it um and so i i'm also on the next episode we'll talk a little bit about what's going on and and with the podcast and uh what we're doing now and, and not to say that we went rogue, but but we're definitely doing something a little bit different and uh, doing it on our own with our team. Uh, I'm shooting over at Kingdom Nutrition in San Clemente. This is actually my brother-in-law's company. Uh, they're one of the sponsors of the show, and, and we're using the office. And so, um, you know, we're, we're, I want to do it super grassroots and, and just kind of use what we have. Uh, one of his employees, his younger brother, Andrew, um, and his team are actually helping film this and record it. Um, and, and they did the lighting. And, and so I'm really excited to work with those guys and um, and, and kind of see where this takes us in this new venture. And, and change is good. You know, we're, we're not uh, it, it feels it might feel like a loss to some people, but but it's not. It, it's growth and it's and it's change. And, and we have to kind of roll with the punches. And so um, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, the show just keeps growing every week and I can't thank you guys enough. Um, I, I, I know that, that, you know, we haven't been as consistent. So now that we have a little spot, um, I, I want to come out with episodes every week for you guys. And so, uh, thank you guys. Thanks for listening. Just remember to please like share and subscribe. We're trying to grow our, our YouTube channel. And so if you guys go to youtube.com backslash the fight within, you can find us there and, and, and just let us know what you guys think. Um, so on that note, just remember that everything was impossible until someone did it. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Kingdom Nutrition. Make sure you guys go and visit their site over at kingdomnutrition.com and enter promo code MFW10 to get 10% off your next purchase. 
Kingdom Nutrition carries the best sports supplements on the market. They manufacture and curate their own line of supplements with the highest quality ingredients, including a lean protein, weight gainer protein, pre-workout, BCAAs, and an array of other products. They've recently created the world's first vegan chickpea protein, and it tastes amazing. I'm a big dude. I like food, and I like chocolate. So when they, when they told me it comes in chocolate and vanilla, I got really happy. But if you're your workout enthusiast and you want to change up your diet, change up your protein, go check out their vanilla chickpea protein. It mixes well with anything. It'll blend great with a smoothie. So to get your hands on any of these products, just make sure and go visit KingdomNutrition.com. Remember to enter promo code MFW10 and get 10% off your next purchase. Let's go.